Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron and I am back. I'm finally back after a few months. Yeah, I took a, a break from YouTube. I've been preoccupied with other stuff and just focusing on other things, but I'm back. I'm doing something different. A while ago, I bought a custom made PC already. This time, I'm gonna be building the PC that is good for both video editing and gaming. At least I'm trying my best. And the only reason I'm emphasizing on gaming and video editing is because both of those focus on different parts of the computer. And I'm so excited, this is my first time. I'm also really nervous because this is my first time. And I'm happy to share the journey with you. I hope you guys enjoy my journey. And if I do something wrong, feel free to laugh at me. Also, I just want to let you guys know that before buying all the parts and the case and whatnot, I didn't know anything about building a PC. I realized quickly how much time and effort and research it takes. I had a friend that, that guided me through this. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's start with the case. Look at this beautifully damaged box. And now for this beautiful case for my PC. Yeah, look at this. And now for the parts. Okay, now finally the building. I told you I'm like a noob at all this. We have some wires. We have this. I assume it's like a some strap. We have the manual. Oh, we have some stickers. That looks awesome. Okay, seriously, holding this motherboard, I legit thought I was going to break it. It's so fragile, and I was a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. Next, I'm going to add the CPU. I got the AMD Ryzen 9. Oops. Oh god. Oh boy. This is the AMD Ryzen 9. Okay, so I heard this part is one of the hardest parts, inserting the CPU. It's very delicate, and I'm, I was watching different Oh my god, my hands are sweating right now. I was watching different YouTube videos and tutorials and they said not to damage these gold points. Oh my god, what the? Okay, oh. Uh, they said not to damage these gold parts right here, gold points. This is really scary, okay, how do I do this? So you insert it right here. Oh god, okay, hold on. So you do it really delicately and if when you hear the plop, you're basically good. Okay, I heard the plot. Okay, I'm good. Oh my god, you can see the sweat. And then close it. <sighs> my hands are really sweating right now. So now I'm going to put the RAM in these slots right here. And I'm going to match them up with this. I'm using the second slot and the fourth slot, B2 and A2. Okay, what I'm going to do is release this lever and this lever. And hopefully it works. So I'm going to put it in this second slot right here. Oh, okay, I heard the click. Now onto the next one. Push down, push down. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm going to insert the SSD, also known as the solid state drive.
on the back of this black cover right here, I had to peel off this blue sticker. It's called the heat sink cover. It's supposed to protect the SSD from the heat. Very important. And now I'm going to dismantle the case so I can fit and put all the PC parts inside. I... Honestly, at this point, I don't really know what I'm doing, <laughs> but look at me. Look at me pretending to know how to put together this PC fan cooler. And now I am changing or switching the cooler pump connector to match with the motherboard and AMD. Installing this cooler was honestly, to me, the one of the most difficult parts because I had to figure out where to put the wires and don't even get me started on this pump right here. I messed up on the positioning of the pump, which I am not going to show in the video because to save time, Yay! Graphics card time. Ignore the loud sound in the background. It's the heater. That's why it sounds really loud.
Okay, moment of truth to see if it turns on. I mean, it's this fan that's not working. Okay, we'll see what's the problem. Okay, this is the second attempt. My winner truth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, okay, this is my final product, and it is Titanic-themed. Well, for now it is, only because my room is Titanic-themed, and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And there were a lot of mistakes and errors, some of which are I'm kind of scared of and worried about, but right now it seems to be working, and I'm happy, and uh, yeah. I'm happy with it. Well, that's my first PC building journey. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry that it's less a tutorial. I hope that was fun for you to watch. Pretty happy with the turnout. Maybe that will inspire you if you are a first time PC builder yourself. It is tough if you are new to all of this. If I were to give you an advice, buy the parts on sale. You have to buy them on sale. I mean, unless you have the money, then go for it. But wait for sales, wait for sales, or go to a site that will let, allow you to maybe trade or buy off someone else that's selling, like Craigslist. And also go to a website called PC Part Picker, PC Part Picker. I'll leave the de uh, link in the description actually because that helps a lot. If you are a new first time builder, that will help you, it will guide you. Uh, other than that, it's fun. And after you finish building your computer, trust me, it's such a satisfying feeling. And when you turn on the computer and it works, it's so, it's such an achievement. Trust me, I, I you know, yeah. I mean, or not trust me, but that's how I felt when I built it and turned it on. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me put together my PC and failing at times, but you know, it's a learning process. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.